budget that you create and follow is essential to managing your debt and making progress towards any kind of savings target. Imagine that you want to save money for unexpected expenses or that you want to accumulate funds for a much bigger objective like a car, down payment for a home, or retirement. It's challenging to predict whether you'll have enough money left over to save until you have a true picture of how much money you're coming in and where it's going. In this video, we talk about how to create a budget and stick to it. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 8. Save before you spend. Do you want to know the best way to maximize your budget and save more money? Save money before you spend it, then. In other words, set aside a part of each paycheck that you wish to save and deposit it into your savings account. After that, utilize what's left to pay your bills and any other unforeseen obligations. Now this approach of managing your funds may seem a little strange to you if you have never heard of it. How exactly are you supposed to save money until you have covered all of your monthly expenses after all? That is when your budget comes into play. You should know exactly how much money you require to fulfill your monthly expenses if you have a well-defined budget. Number 7. Use cashback apps. I love cashback applications a lot, and Rakuten is my favorite cashback app out of all the ones I've ever used. You can get cash back from the majority of the places you likely already shop by using this little gem of an app. For instance, anytime my wife and I need to make a purchase from Amazon, Walmart, Target, or any other major online retailer, we use Rakuten. I advise using cashback applications whenever you can because they're a terrific way to squeeze a little bit of additional money out of your budget. Number 6. Identify and avoid your spending triggers. The practice of self-control is one of the most challenging aspects of personal finance, and the more tempting the circumstance, the harder it is. Therefore, you should strive to stay away from the situations that entice you the most if you want to have the best chance of staying within the limits of your budget. For instance, when I enter a clothing store, it's not difficult for me to stick to my spending limit. I don't know why, but I just don't enjoy shopping for clothing. But if you put me in the middle of a Home Depot filled with the aroma of lumber and brand new power tools, my budget is all but gone. Number 5. Set bite-sized goals. Setting expansive, motivating goals for your financial future is enjoyable when you first begin budgeting. Although I strongly believe in creating long-term goals, you should also set some more manageable, shorter-term objectives. You see, it's necessary to have some successes along the way if you want to stay inside your budget. As an illustration, my wife and I want to buy a property with cash. However, it will take years for us to achieve that aim. Furthermore, if achieving that objective is the only occasion we will ever have to celebrate all of our diligent budgeting work, then things are going to get monotonous and stressful. We therefore establish monthly, quarterly, and annual targets along the route. This will keep us motivated and enable us to stick to our budget for a very long period. We can also experience and enjoy some quicker wins. Number 4. Ditch the credit cards. The more experience I have with budgeting, the more I understand how crucial simplicity is to follow in one. And one thing is for certain, budgeting gets more difficult the more accounts you have to verify while entering your expenses. Therefore, you should quit using credit cards as soon as you can if you want to simplify your budget and make it simpler for yourself to stick to it. Now that I've said it, I know that some people will read it and want to smack me in the face. But seriously, if you're having trouble staying inside your budget, this is one of the smartest things you can do. Number 3. Set reminders for yourself. We both recognize that life can occasionally be quite busy. Additionally, it's simple to let your budget go when given the option between it and other priorities. But doing that will guarantee that you lose track of your spending and eventually your entire budget. Be careful to make reminders for yourself when you've incorporated your budget into your daily to-do list. This single, inconsequential step can have a huge impact on budgeting. Number 2. Create a budgeting schedule. You must set aside some time each day to sit down, record your costs, and actually work on your budget if you want to eventually keep to it. And when I say a little, I mean between 5 and 10 minutes. All it takes is that. Set an appointment with yourself each morning to discuss your finances if you are a morning person. Or if you like the night, set aside some time shortly before going to bed. Put your budget on your calendar to make a priority. The easier it is and the more likely you are to stay to your budget, the more frequently you check in with it. Number 1. Write everything down. Although it may seem obvious, actually writing everything down is one of the most important aspects of a successful budget or typing it into a computer. I can't tell you how many times I've heard someone say they are on a budget only to discover that their budget is a figment of their imagination. To be entirely honest, I tried to do the same before I learned how to budget well. And I can assure you that it is ineffective. No matter how talented you are at arithmetic or how amazing your memory is, you cannot and should not manage every aspect of your financial life in your mind. Simply put, there is too much to keep track of. 
Without a written budget, there is also nothing to hold you responsible if you ever overspend. So that's all for today's video. I hope you all like this video. Please let us know in the comment box about your opinion and do recommend some topics you want to see in the video in the future.